Hey guys, what's up? So I'm coming today with another video and today is day a three on the egg diet revisited, but technically it's day two of eating. So my first day was yesterday of eating egg, the egg diet revisited. Today was the second day of eating <clears throat> the egg diet revisited. And today I'm going to be honest, the workout that I did was really, really intense, super, super intense. So I was sweating a lot, I was losing a lot of calories. And so after I um, worked out, that's when I do the big lunch because I usually work out in like the afternoon, late morning afternoon. And I was so hungry. So I ended up having the tuna sandwich again. And then I had the boiled eggs like almost immediately after that because I was still so hungry after eating the tuna um, just from working out. So I feel like, uh, when I do really intense workouts, the calories are not really working out this time as much as they were before because I am working out this time, but I still want to be working out. So if I have to eat a little bit more, then that's okay. I had a few grapes today and I also ended up eating saltine crackers, but I didn't show you guys saltine crackers and turkey pepperoni. So I did a little extra off of the egg diet. So we'll see how that um, affects the weight loss tomorrow we will see but I was really hungry I lost a lot of calories today and most of it through like cardio type movements so it was a lot more exhausting than like small slower movements or like strength training or something like that so it was much more difficult <laughs> for me to do honestly and to stay like completely I don't know, like hydrated and everything else. So I was drinking a lot of water, drinking all my teas. I was doing four cups of tea today and I'm on my fifth cup of tea today and I'm still hungry. I drank my gallon of water today as well. So all of this just means I did not have enough calories through the egg diet to really sustain me working out as well. So we'll see how that goes off tomorrow with the addition of the pepperoni and saltines. I didn't want to do anything too horrible and I know I was supposed to just eat an apple or eat an orange but I ran out of apples so I didn't have that option and the oranges I'm not really a big fan of oranges so I did not want those so that's why I said I ate grapes but I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow and I did not have the apples to snack on that I needed today because I didn't know I would need it today otherwise I would have just went out today to the grocery store but I do pick up groceries so I ordered for Friday to pick up my groceries so I did not have the option or I did not pick the option to go to the grocery store today because I knew I had um, pick up for tomorrow yeah so that's been uh, my struggle for today anyway I didn't even start off with what I weighed, weighed in at today I weighed in at 213.8 all right, today weighing in at 213.8, 39.8% body fat, and 27.8% muscle. So that means, again, I lost two pounds. So it seems um, to be consistent, the two pounds is being lost. And so I'm definitely, definitely not mad at that. I'm very happy so far with the overall um, loss that's been going on for the egg diet so far, egg diet revisited. And um, this video is also not, oops, ow, not going to be that long. My finger is doing a lot better. So like I said, I'm able to do a lot more exhausted type of working out. But overall, yeah, that was my biggest thing. So we'll see tomorrow morning what effect that takes. And that's really the only difference. I was super hungry today because of the work that I did. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I also made a target run today. So I did a little bit more steps and everything. I just did overall a lot today. And so I think a lot of calories were burned. And so I was starving so much that I was pushing everything together. But tomorrow I'm gonna try to be very, 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 very much on just the eggs. I'm even gonna cut out the tuna sandwich because I don't want the actual um, uh, carbs from the bread. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna replace it with. I don't know if I'll just do like all eggs tomorrow. So like maybe scrambled eggs in the morning, scrambled eggs for dinner, and then for lunch boiled eggs and just do like a egg day. But we'll see what the number is tomorrow and I'll determine what I will do to improve for the following day. Yes, so 
that's pretty much my update. Like I said, I waited at 213.8 today and we're just gonna keep going. I hope you guys are doing well on this as well. I'm trying to get back to all of your comments. Um, sometimes it, it's a lot. But um, I, I'm so happy to be communicating with you guys and seeing you guys continue on your own journey. So thank you, thank you so much for commenting and continuing to watch my videos. I love you guys so much and I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. So now I'm just going to show you my food diary and then I will end the video. Alright guys, so here's breakfast today. Three eggs, scrambled, and that's it. Doing the same thing today as I did yesterday, tuna, the two slices of the 100% whole wheat bread, and very simple, just add the onions and a little bit of Miracle Whip, and that's my tuna. Hey right, guys, so here's the last meal, the three boiled eggs with the pepper and salt. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day, staying blessed, staying safe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.